So this is uh, Smoke Jumper Operations. This is where I work. Uh, you can see the list here on the left. Everyone who's slid to the left on the left are actually here at the base. If you're white, you're available you know, on the load. And we only have a load of six today on the Dornier, which can hold eight jumpers. If you're yellow, you're unavailable. Uh, my name, Rohrbach, that's, that's me. I'm, I'm running ops today. I'm not spotting. Would you mind putting that spotter on Dobby and sliding him over? Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't, I don't get the spot today. I know, I might, Kroger. For, uh, <laughs> so all these guys to the right are out on fires. And we have 18 guys up on that Nirata fire, which isn't too far from you guys. And, uh, that really exploded. What's the purpose of this? You click on it, it'll tell you the incident. So is that when it's out? Because I don't see any flame around it. Uh, it's a small fire. This is an Irata. So you can see uh, they, they kind of got around it to the north here. It was running two different directions. And then this is a whole separate fire. It started right here and they jumped right there. They thought they were going to catch it, but then it jumped Highway 28, uh -huh. ran on to the north. Mm -hmm. This is all the Elmo fire right here. Uh -huh. And so this kind of ran to the Elmo fire that helped them. But then the slower portion of the fire is the that one's really cooking and heading uh, in a easterly direction. So, but we do have cooler temps coming our way, so that should give my hand. So how far camp. away is it from Big Army? I know, I know. I've been sending this to camp. Uh, Lewis and I got a buddy that lives probably, what, he's eight miles, I was guessing? Eight, nine miles. No. He lives over here. They're going to make a stand at Blue Lake, too. No, I'll tell Blue Lake is a stand. I think, yeah, they're, they're going to make their stand right here. Let's see if that happens. I think it's going to happen. Yeah, it's not really that far. Section one. But there's a lot of snow in those mountains. You see that? I know. You already did. You like that a lot. So the yellow is that. So, all right, yellow, uh, yellow is uh, that heat sign signature was like in the last, uh, I think it's 48 hours. The red is uh, current heat signatures. Mm -hmm. So that yellow stuff is probably, it's in the grass, it's, it's probably out by now. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, grass has a very uh, short life and burn. But when it gets in the timber, you know, it burns for uh, much longer. So the fuel will have your fuels. So it goes back to days. So the orange is still pretty hot too. Orange is still pretty hot. Yeah, it made a really, it made a significant run yesterday. I think it made a 3,500 acre run yesterday. Yeah, right. I'm sure you guys drove right, you guys drove right oh, past yeah, it yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The smoke, the I smoke was bad. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. even yesterday afternoon up in Kalispell, it went in the morning, oh, it was fairly clear, but I looked at the outside, and it was pretty soft, and we were soft. And, and this morning woke up, and it was clear. So it's holding to the south end of the yeah. highway 28. Yeah, well, it did, it did make it north, but Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've been talking to our guys from that fire, and they, they, they've held this up on the road. If you zoom in far enough, you can see that road, actually. They, Is that that Browns Meadow Road? Yeah, this road right here, they're using, they did get a few spots, but I think they're in good shape to the north, but definitely not to, not to the, the south. south. Not to the south. Uh, no. Have there been evacuations there? Yes. Good morale picking in the fall. Yeah? Or spring, excuse me. Because the fire is Yeah, when the fire comes through, usually the next spring you have morels. Mm. Uh, so. Good enough. <laughs> you like morels? Mm -hmm. Just don't go to that sushi restaurant in Bozeman and have morels. Is that where somebody was? Yeah, two people died. Mm -hmm. But they're, yeah. yeah. Do you get calls here from, how do you get to know where to go? Uh, we get it, so Northern Rockies Coronation Center is across the street. Okay. So a dispatch center will call in a fire. You know, usually they fly, they uh, use detection flights, and they spot the fire. They get the lat long. They called into that dispatch center, and that dispatch center calls it into Northern Rockies Coordination Center. And then Northern Rockies Coordination Center decides mm -hmm. what type of resource to put up. And if it uh, meets our uh, mission, remote, no roads nearby, they send us. Okay. 
Well, there aren't too many roads now between Big Arm and the well, fire yeah, we can right jump, now. We can jump roads too. Like this situation, they jump right next to a road. But they need guys right away. There weren't many resources available. They needed qualifications, so they jumped right next to Highway 28 on this one, actually. Right, right at the bend, right there was a the jump spot. And when I, I jumped the elbow last year, we landed right here, and it was just, it was gone. So, and we, we caught it up in here on these road systems. I'm sure you guys remember that one. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. What kind of a landing do they give you? Uh, I mean, usually like, I don't know, like half acre, quarter acre. Okay. You know, a lot you don't of have one on the dot. No, just land in the spot. Here's an X, like they do in Mission Impossible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not Tom Cruise? <laughs> I mean, on practice shows, we have a panel. We all try hitting the panel. You want to be as accurate as possible because that, you know, it makes you understand the shoot and, um, and the conditions. So uh, just land in the spot. Don't land on a rock. Don't land in a tree. So, and we, before we jump, we do a low pass, maybe three, 400 feet, to, to see the jump spot and make sure there's not rocks in the spot. Because a lot of times you have brush and then rocks underneath, so you want to make sure it's a, it's a suitable jump spot. So. And you're landing in, I know smoke can be pretty heavy sometimes. Uh, we don't land too close to the fire. Okay. So I mean, if, it, if, it's, <laughs> if the fire is impinging the jump spot, we'll find another jump spot. And we usually jump, you know, we don't jump upwind from the fire. You know, you don't want to get your gear burned up. Yeah. <laughs> right. Or yourself. Or yourself. <laughs> yeah. 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 Neither one of those. And it's not always the wind that lures the fire. It's no, it's not. But like in a situation like this, this is completely a wind-driven fire. Okay. Um, yeah, the wind is a huge factor in fire growth. Right. You know, but yeah, fires. I mean, they can go on their own if fuels are dry enough and you have a steep slope. And uh, if it's grass, it's obviously going to burn a lot mm -hmm. faster. Uh, timber is a slower moving fire, but those big timber fires can just throw spots way out right. in front, like right. miles in front. Uh -huh. Like, uh, I mean, they, they've jumped like the Columbia River before, you know, so I mean, mm -hmm. it just tells you how. Yeah, I mean, it's like, amazing you, how far it can jump. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's impressive. Yeah. Because yeah. no, okay. it did, the fire mm -hmm. in the south actually jumped the Flathead River uh, a few times, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure you guys drove right past it, that middle of the ridge fire. Well, actually, I can show you. But it just jumped into egg. Uh, I think it went out there. Influence. So this is the middle ridge. No, I don't do that. So this one is Sealy, right? That's across over there? Uh, no. no. Those are new starts. Oh. Those, oh, started, those were in the mission, weren't they? Yes. Yeah. The Coke okay. fire is further yeah. to the south. I did not know I was realize. looking in comparison size wise. That's, that's oh, the Coke yeah. fire right there. That one started you know, roughly two weeks ago. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But this is that little ridge. Yeah, this one jumped the flathead in a few spots, um, but it's in anyway. Something's going on with Google Earth there, but. Well, and everything's so much drier now. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we were just noticing the brush to how far 